assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to the department of english government post graduate college atak this is bsc fourth years class and we are discussing a selection of modern prose now today we would discuss the last part of the damned human race by mark twain Mark Twain says one is obliged to concede that in true loftiness of character man cannot claim to approach even the meanest of the higher animals it is plain that he is constitutionally incapable of approaching that altitude that he is constitutionally afflicted with a defect which must make such approach forever impossible for it is manifest that this defect is permanent in him indestructible ineradicable a look at some vocabulary obliged means forced concede to admit something or to agree with something loftiness height meanest lowest constitutionally here it is used in the sense of by nature altitude height afflicted with suffering from defect flaw manifest evident obvious indestructible that cannot be destroyed ineradicable that cannot be removed now the writer says one is obliged to concede obliged to concede means one is forced to admit one is forced to agree that in true loftiness of character if we talk about the height of character if we talk about the good character of somebody man cannot claim to approach even the meanest of the higher animals then if we compare the character of higher animals with man then even the lowest of higher animals is better in character as compared to man that is the higher animals they have a better character they have a better sense of what is right it is plain that he is constitutionally incapable of approaching that altitude it is plain it is simple that he is constitutionally incapable that man is by nature incapable of incapable of mean is he cannot do that capacity mean the the capacity is someone's ability to do something incapable means that one is not able to do something of approaching that altitude that altitude mean that height of character that the other animals have man cannot even approach it man cannot even come close to it that he is constitutionally afflicted with a defect that he is by nature afflicted with afflicted with mean suffering from just like one suffers from a disease with a defect with a flaw with some kind of failing in the character which must make such approach forever impossible there is some kind of problem some kind of affliction or defect defect because of which man can never reach the height of that kind of character for it is manifest for it is evident or for it is quite clear that this defect is permanent in him that this defect is constant that it will always be with him 
it has always been with him and it would always be with him because this defect is indestructible it cannot be destroyed ineradicable it cannot be eradicated or removed i find this defect to be the moral sense moral sense is one's ability to distinguish between right and wrong according to the writer all the higher animals all the other animals they do not have this ability to distinguish between right and wrong only man has this concept of right and wrong at the theoretical level this ability should have made him better but we see in history that this ability has made him worst he is the worst amongst all the animals despite having the knowledge of good and bad he always in more in most of the cases he always does the bad the evil things therefore the writer says that the moral sense the ability to distinguish between right and wrong is not a good quality because this good quality is not present in the other animals and they behave in a better way the writer says he is the only animal that has it in amongst all the animals man is the only animal that has this moral sense it is the secret of his degradation and basically this is the secret of his fall his degradation his low status it is the quality which enables him to do wrong now this quality it was supposed to make him do good but in history we have seen that how man has used this to do evil it has no other office office here it is used in the sense of function that this this quality this moral sense it has no other function but to enable man to do evil it is incapable of performing any other function and this quality it cannot perform any other function it could never have been intended to perform any other intended means supposed to here it is used in the sense otherwise intention is somebody's uh, somebody's idea to do something now he says that in the first place it was this quality of moral sense it perhaps it was intended not to perform any other function it was supposed to perform this function to make man evil without it man could do no wrong and if man does not have it perhaps he would not commit the wrong he would rise at once to the level of the higher animals and then this because of the absence of this quality he would be able to rise at the level of higher animals since the moral sense has the one office the one capacity to enable man to do wrong it is plainly without value to him the writer says that this moral sense it does not have any positive function its only function is to do evil therefore we should it is of no value to human beings it is as valueless to him as is disease just like a disease in our body 
is valueless to us it does not have any value it does not perform a positive function similarly this moral sense is also a kind of disease in fact it manifestly is a disease manifestly clearly it is a disease rabies is bad but it is not so bad as this disease rabies is a disease in amongst dogs when dogs become mad so this and basically it is a disease that is transferred to human beings if they are bitten by a dog that is afflicted with this disease rabies enables a man to do a thing which he could not do when in healthy state when in a healthy state when a man is bitten by such a dog he would start behaving in a strange way normally in a normal state he would never do that and his mind is affected by it so similarly he this moral sense is like rabies kill his neighbor with a poisonous bite and such a man who has rabies he would go and bite somebody and he would also have that disease no one is the better man for having rabies and as no one is a better man if he has rabies similarly no man should have this moral sense the moral sense enables a man to do wrong according to the writer the moral sense it enables a person not to do good but to do bad to do evil things it it enables him to do wrong in a thousand ways and it makes him do evil things in thousands of ways rabies is an innocent disease and as compared to that rabies is an innocent disease compared to the moral sense if we compare it with moral sense no one then can be the better man for having the moral sense similarly no man can be a good man if he has moral sense what now do we find the primal cause to have been the primal curse to have been primal curse is the name given to the first mistake that was committed by man that is adam and eve when they were expelled from paradise by god and this was the curse of god upon them so according to the writer the primal curse is basically having this moral sense plainly what it was in the beginning the infliction upon man of the moral sense and it was this infliction it is a kind of disease that was introduced into the body of man and this disease was this moral sense the ability to distinguish good from evil to distinguish mean to differentiate between good and evil and with it necessarily the ability to do evil and with it and when this ability it was introduced into man's body it also brought with it the ability to do evil for there can be no evil act without the presence of consciousness of it in the doer of it and as there can be no evil if the person who is committing it is not conscious of it or does not have a knowledge of it and so i find that we have descended and degenerated descended and degenerated means it declined came down from some far ancestor and if we talk about evolution our ancestors the higher animals they were our forefathers they were better as compared to us some microscopic atom wandering at its player between the mighty horizons of a drop of water per chance and life as it begins on earth that it was 
a result of some atom some microscopic atom that was wandering at some inner drop of water and that atom or that cell it gave birth to life insect by insect and that is how life was transformed into more complex animals it was turned into insects animal by animal reptile by reptile down the long highway of smirchless innocence smirchless mean without stain without blemish totally clean and then on from the top of the other animals below the more life developed this moral sense it came to be developed in the in human beings and because of that they lost that innocence till we have reached the bottom stage of development and then we reached at the bottom nameable as the human being and that bottom is called human beings below us nothing and below us there is no other in if we compare ourselves with higher animals then because of our capacity to do evil we are lower as compared to them and below us there is there are no other animals that is the end of the chapter in our next lecture we would discuss the exam questions till then take care